Sunday, June 18th, 2023. A five-person crew on a small submarine capsule submerged in a dive to the Titanic wreckage site on Sunday morning. The crew lost contact with the research ship about an hour and 45 minutes into the dive. They are nowhere to be found and are still missing two days later. The team was supposed to come to the surface if there was a problem. Something terrible has happened. How could they lose connection? And if so, why wouldn't they just return to the surface? The likelihood is that they cannot. A search and rescue search is underway, but time is limited, and the likelihood of finding the submarine is almost zero. This expedition will likely end up being an unknown mystery and be lost forever. First, you have to understand just how dangerous it is to go deep into the ocean, especially all the way down to the wreckage of the famous Titanic. The Titanic is around 12,500 feet below sea level. The pressure down in the deep ocean is extreme, and the chances and risk of small vessel imploding is very high. Imploding is when the vehicle is crushed inwards. It collapsed inside and is destroyed. It usually happens when there is a leak in the vessel. If that's the case, these five members of the crew were crushed to death and will never be found in the depths of the deep ocean. Another theory is that the capsule is stuck inside the Titanic. If not rescued in time, the oxygen will run out and the crew will suffocate. And lastly, there is a chance they have drifted away in the ocean and are lost in the dark depths of the sea. The search is still ongoing, and there's no explanation to what has happened yet. We can only come up with logical explanations, but of course there is that one side of us that may be skeptical and may want to suggest something supernatural or unnatural has happened in this instance. There are enough dark theories surrounding the original sinking of the Titanic itself. This only adds to the mystery of this long-lost ship. The unique submersible craft that disappeared is owned by Ocean Gate Expeditions, a company that deploys manned submarines for deep-sea exploration, and has in the past advertised this, particularly subs endeavor, to carry tourists down to the wreckage of the RMS Titanic for $250,000 per seat. In a statement, OceanGate confirmed the missing submarine is theirs and that a rescue operation has been launched to find and recover it. The company said it was exploring and mobilizing all options to bring the crew back safely. The company did not specify how many people were inside the sub. However, we know there's five now. For some time, we have been unable to establish communications with one of our submersible exploration vehicles, which is currently visiting the wreckage site of the Titanic. This was said by Andrew Von Karens, a spokesperson for Ocean Gate. He said, we pray for the safe return of the crew and its passengers, and we will provide updates as they are available. The sub has an emergency oxygen and a 96-hour sustainment capability if there's an emergency aboard, Mogger had said. As of Monday afternoon, he said there was a believed to be somewhere between 70 to full 96 hours available at the point. The sub, strangely, is controlled by an old gaming controller. The use of an old gaming controller to control the movement of this submarine, which just makes this even more confusing and bizarre. Was this a death trap from the very start? Have you ever heard scary theories about the Titanic? How it sunk? Some seem outrageous, such as a sea monster sinking the ship, or a fire was purposely started before the ship was seaborne. However, there was a fire. However, there's this one unsettling and very disturbing theory that the Titanic was purposely sunken, that it had been purposely struck that iceberg, and that it sunk to the deep ocean. Why exactly? You can find out in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss it. I'll see you guys then.